Hey guys, Flockin' with Necroparlor here. A lot has been going on in the past month with the giveaway and starting my new Patreon, but I just sold one of my favorite wet specimens, so I thought I'd take this opportunity to show you how I ship them. That is like a, a trend for Etsy sellers, isn't it? Maybe a ticky talky trend? Anyways. The reason that shipping wet specimens is so difficult is because not too many mail carriers like to ship containers with large amounts of alcohol. It's a big pain to ship them correctly. If you do, it probably costs more. And if you lie about it and something bad happens, you can get fined something like $10 billion. So I ship my wet specimens dry. You'll see the first thing I'm doing after putting on my PPE is taking the specimen out and wrapping it in a paper towel. Once it's tight, I'll place it in a sealable baggie. Now, I'm going to add just enough alcohol to wet the paper towel. This is enough so that the specimens don't actually dry out, but not enough liquid that it could spill or cause problems. Then I seal those baggies tight, dump the rest of the liquid. Isopropyl alcohol is precious to me, so it goes back into a bucket to be reused later. It's important to thoroughly wash and dry the jar because I ship my specimens with the jar they came in. So I place the sealed specimens back inside the jar and then stuff whatever cushioning I can in there to prevent movement. I also include a sealed baggie of gloves within the jar. Then give it a test shake. I hear a little bit of shaking, so I open it up and stuff some more towel inside. Once it's nice and tight, it's ready for packing. Don't judge me on my packaging. I have every size of box bubble wrap lying around, so I've never had to actually pay for it. It's super handy and passes the savings on to you. So I wrap and pack the whole jar. I make sure to include one of my modified business cards with wet specimen unpacking instructions on the back. Yes, I got so sick of writing all this out that I made an extra business card just for this. TLDR says, use the gloves to place the specimens back in the jar and fill it with fresh isopropyl alcohol. Don't forget to take pics and tag me. I also include a smorgasbord of swag with purchases, depending on the size of the purchase. Stickers, business cards, etc. Then I stuff the box tight. If you've ever ordered something from me, you know that the boxes I ship out are usually kind of bulging, being held together by the sheer amount of tape I put on. I don't know if this is good practice or not, but I do it. There, all done. While I'm filming, I might as well package up the prizes from the giveaway I just had. Congratulations to those followers who found the links to the secret videos and won this raccoon skull and two diaphanized possum joeys. Oops, you weren't supposed to see those. I wish I could show you a more standardized method of shipping, but because so many of my products are random sizes and shapes, and my collection of packing supplies is also random, it's just a game of whatever works. On this occasion, I happened to have this pocket of bubble wrap with a sticky top that wrapped up the skull so perfectly. Great. I also learned real quickly that nothing was going to fit in that smaller box. Though I did kind of struggle with this long piece of bubble wrap for the diaphanized jar. Normally I would try to keep diaphanized specimens directional because they can be pretty fragile-y propped up inside their jar. This one is not propped up though, so it can withstand some jostling on its side. Stuff the box, add the swag, and tape it up. Add more tape to these later after I write addresses on them. There's a bigger box. This must have had one of my chemical shipments in it, so it's got all the warning labels still on. Here's showcasing the swag. You can see the contest winners get a bit extra with the large vinyl bumper sticker and a few more regular stickers. And tape it up. Done. I found my last few address stickers. I don't buy these anymore. They're a pretty big waste to pay 50 cents each for a label to write addresses on. And that's pretty much it. 
I'll just write the addresses down and get them shipped at the post office tomorrow. All that's left to do is pose for the thumbnail and remind you to subscribe, not just to my YouTube channel, but to my new Patreon as well. Get early access to videos, exclusive merch, coupons to my store, and more. Speaking of those Patreon perks, I would like to shout out my first 10 patrons who have made the world of difference to me and the future of this channel. Don't worry, the first item on the list is to make better names for these tiers. An unbelievable amount of support for a Patreon that has just launched, but you can help me get there. I have so many ideas for upcoming videos that I would love your guys' input on where to go next. So find me on patreon.com slash and I'll see you there.